Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will learn about explanation based learning. So, in we have learned about uh, what is learning, what is route learning, what is uh, uh, learning by advice, learning by example, learning by uh, problem solving. Then, this is the next method which is learn explanation based learning. So, in this method, the system attempts to learn from a single example x by explaining why x is an example of the target concept. So in this uh, explanation based learning we have an example. Then we are trying to explain why the uh, x is an example of target concept. So we know uh, chess. So in chess we have uh, certain moves. So when a situation arises that uh, uh, say a queen is in trap or something like that so for escaping we have some target concept what is the target concept we have to save the queen but you can sacrifice any other and suppose it was if it was a king then you'll say you have to save the king but you can sacrifice queen so that is a concept which is a target concept over here so same way, uh, this is exp uh, this is expression based learning. So in this we have a training example. So what is a training example? An example or a situation where uh, the training concept is applied. So what program sees in the real world? What is training example? What program sees in the real world? Next is a goal concept. That means what you want as an output from that training example is what is called a goal concept. A high level description of what the program is supposed to learn. Next is operational criteria. A description of which concepts are usable. That means you have a lot of concepts in the domain. And you need to know that which concept you have to apply so as to get from training example to a goal concept. So that is the uh, these three next we have domain theory set of rules that describe relationship between object and action in domain so what happens over here is it is having a set of rules that means all the rules and all the brain brainy part of the system is stored in domain theory and it describes also describes relationship between object and action in domain Next we have explanation based generalization. First we learn explanation based learning. Now we learn explanation based generalization. So in this it has two step process. First one is explain then generalize. So this two step process happens over here. In the first step the domain theory is used to prune away unimportant aspects of the training. So in domain theory we said that we have all the rules and all the brain on all the logic in the domain theory so what happens over there is that we are uh, pruning away unimportant concepts or unimportant things in the uh, from the domain theory so that we uh, apply rules which are which we need to apply in order to come from training example to a goal concept so over here we prune out all unimportant aspects of training. What is left is explanation of why training example is an instance of goal concept. So here we have, uh, we now explain why the, after pruning out, why is that role applicable as a goal, con uh, um, so as to get the goal concept. So we will first explain and then after explain we will generalize. This explanation is expressed in terms of sat, uh, terms that satisfy operational uh, operationality criteria. The next step is generalize. After explaining what we do, generalize. Generalize the explanation as far as possible while still describing the goal concept. So here we have, uh, we are generalizing the uh, explanation. Like why did we choose that rule itself? We could have chose any other rule. Why did we choose that? That we have to generalize. So that is happening over here. And 
this is explanation based generalization so thank you guys for watching my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you